Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat. In case you're new here, if you are, you should go ahead and subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. Speaking of videos, if this video is an anti haul, shout out to Kimberly Clark for creating this series. I love this idea and I'm going to create one every single month. In case you guys don't know what an anti haul is, an anti haul is basically sharing with you guys what I am not going to buy. I feel like the beauty community talks about so many things the lighting just changed and a lot of people try to talk good about products because some brands are shady so <laughs> this is like the opposite talking shit no hate against any of these people unless i state otherwise so yes we will get into it i have 10 products that i'm going to share with you guys that i will not be purchasing all the pictures that i have are from trend mood so thank you sophie for providing me with these pictures even though I did not ask you sorry girl I'm taking them anyways so the first product that I am not buying actually this is a brand that I don't plan on purchasing from and it is the Natasha Denona brand so these are just some new releases that she's coming out with first of all her products are gorgeous especially this goddamn like new eyeshadow palette um hi I love it and I want it, but it's like a hundred and something dollars. It's $129 USD. CAD, that's like $165, which is ridiculous. I don't know who the hell Natasha Donona is. I don't know who she is. And like, I've never heard of her before. And she just like came out of nowhere and she's charging an arm and a leg for her products and I don't even know who she is. If I do decide to spend that much on a product, it's gonna be because I love the brand and because I know it's good. And not to mention there's very mixed reviews about the brand and apparently she's like racist. I don't know man, but I've heard that she doesn't post people of color on her Instagram, like the Instagram account for her company. She is recently, I've seen a few, but apparently back in the day she didn't, so I don't I don't know what's up with that. But that's not why I'm not purchasing. I don't know if that's true or not. But I just I think it's really expensive. And even brands that are designer like Louboutin, Dior, fucking uh, Marc Jacobs, like they're not even charging that much, which I find crazy. Because if anyone's gonna charge that much, I feel like it should be a designer brand, not some person that I've never heard of. Yes, so that's why I won't be purchasing. Also, just so you guys know, also just so you guys know, this Sunset palette uh, is really pretty, but Sephora Collection is coming out with a palette in the summertime that, like, honestly looks the exact same. So, your girl will probably pick that one up. Yes. The next product that I will not be purchasing is the Trend Mood and Ciate collaboration. This is the palette right here. So I decided that I don't want to purchase this. I don't like the shades. I don't really like the colors together, to be quite honest. I feel like you can't really create a great look out of the colors. I feel like it's all very, very mismatched. I love how Sophie went about including her followers in her collaboration. I thought that was really great. But I don't like the layout. I don't like the packaging. I don't like the colors. I don't like anything about it, to be quite honest. I don't know how much it will be, but it's just it's something that doesn't call my name and so I definitely will not be purchasing that. Next product is by NARS. It's these like liquid blushes. I think these are so gorgeous. Uh, the packaging, hello! Swatches, hi! Oh my god, I love. But, but, I don't like liquid blushes at all so I will not be purchasing them for that reason. They do look really pretty though and I really want them for the packaging oh my god i'm a sucker for nars packaging but i just i won't use them ever so i will not be purchasing them also they're 30 dollars each and i don't really want to spend 30 dollars each on a liquid blush i don't know next product that i will not be purchasing is the kat von d eye cheek powder blush eyeshadow thing by kat von d it is in lolita i feel like She's just overdone this whole Lolita bullshit. I get it though. I completely understand why if something is doing really, really well, do it again and again and again because it will sell. And I completely understand that, but I'm just, I'm over it. I'm just like, 
We're done with Lolita. No one cares about Lolita anymore. It's done. Over with. Bye. It was cool three years ago. Not anymore. So for that reason, I won't be purchasing it. Not to mention I don't really like it, to be quite honest. It doesn't say how much it will be, so I'm not quite sure, but I'm just over this whole Lolita thing, honestly. <laughs> like, go away. Also, not to mention, Lolita probably won't work for my skin just because it is a pretty dark color, and I am pale as fuck. So, yes. Next thing that I am not purchasing is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette collaboration. This is gorgeous. The packaging is gorgeous. I saw it in person at my Sephora. The packaging is gorgeous, the colors are gorgeous, but they will not work for my skin tone at all. I am, like I said, so goddamn pale. And these colors are more for tanned skin tones, it seems like. Chrissy does have pretty tanned skin. Uh, yeah, that's definitely way too dark for my skin. I couldn't even use the highlighter as a highlight. The blush would be pretty dark for my skin tone. I could use it if I really worked with it, but I'm just not about that life. It's $46 USD. I think it is like $56 or $54 Canadian. And I just don't really want to spend that on it. And not to mention, uh, the layout is so weird. What is that? Honestly, like that makes my OCD go crazy because I'm like, oh no, 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 no. They all have to be the same and like even and it bothers me. And another thing that bothers me the imprint on this highlighter, it says Becca, Becca. Why doesn't it say Chrissy Becca? I don't understand. If I was Chrissy, I wouldn't be very happy about that. I would want it to say Chrissy Becca, not Becca Becca. I feel like they could have put Chrissy Becca. Also, Chrissy Teigen, why did Becca collaborate with her? I mean, I love her, don't get me wrong, but she's definitely not known in the beauty community? She's definitely not known for her makeup is what I'm getting at. Modeling, yes. Food, yes. Being a Trump hater, yes. <laughs> but she's not really known for her makeup and she doesn't really do a ton of makeup, especially like adventurous makeup. Like her makeup is always like pretty like natural, glowy, cool, but no one talks about her makeup. So I just, I find the collaboration just a little bit odd just because I never really thought that Chrissy would come out with something like this. Props to you, Chrissy. Congratulations. It is gorgeous, but definitely won't work for my skin tone. So I will not be purchasing it for that reason. The next product I will not be purchasing is this Morphe aerosol thing can setting powder. First of all, why would anyone want to spray something like this on their face? It would feel like spraying hairspray on your face, and I don't even like spraying hairspray in general. Aerosol cans give me the wrong vibes. I feel like they're really, really terrible for the environment, and I associate aerosol cans with chemicals. I don't want to put chemicals, or I don't want to spray chemicals directly on my face. Maybe kind of ironic considering basically everything you put on your face has chemicals in it, but aerosol cans just seem really bad to me, and I just, I don't like them. I don't even really use like hair products in general, like I stay away from aerosol cans. Uh, I feel like they're really bad for the environment. And I'm a huge environment lover and so I don't particularly like aerosol cans at all. And I just, I don't know, I don't think that this would be fun to spray on my face. Like what's wrong with just like a regular like squirty bottle, like I, I don't understand. Not to mention, these are more like risky when it comes to like exploding and everything. And the caps are easy to break on these, so I don't, I don't know, like the nozzles are easy to break too. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why anyone would want this, to be quite honest. And not to mention, who really knows with Morphe? Like, no one knows if they're gonna be good or bad. And the only people really promoting them is like Jaclyn Hill, and then it's like, love Jaclyn Hill, but she like shoves Morphe down people's throats sometimes and it's like, mm, I'm just gonna stay away from it. Next thing is the Violet Voss Highlighter Palette. This is gorgeous, don't get me wrong, like the colors are really really pretty and I've seen people use them in videos and I'm like, I kinda want that, but I'm not going to buy it. Uh, first of all, I don't like the packaging. I feel like this is so basic. I feel like they made this on like clip art or like pick a monkey, like one of those like bullshit like things <laughs> that's like so easy to do. Um, this is $45 USD for six highlighters, 
they do look kind of dark for my skin tone I think I could get away with it but I don't know I'm just like not about it all of these are like champagne -y type colors and I feel like we have enough champagne highlighters guys all every single highlighter is like the same nowadays like come out with something different please please honestly I feel like everything's the same and I'm like I don't even have that many highlighters you guys like I don't I have like 30 oh that sounds like a lot but it's not <laughs> to me and I feel like so many highlighters are the same I feel like I have a million highlighters that are these shades and I don't know I feel like half of my highlighters are like champagne highlighters and I'm over it like give me some other colors like give me some peaches give me some I don't know man just not champagnes like these are all like different variations of champagnes and like fucking white like come on just give me give me some other colors give me something to work with and then I would consider buying it and I've heard some sketchy stuff about Violet Voss I don't know what's up with them I haven't tried any of their products I'd be open to but if I were to purchase something it would be one of their palettes or eyeshadow palettes and not these the next thing that I'm not purchasing is a collection. This is the Urban Decay in Basque, Basqua, ba Basket, it's not Basket, I don't know how to pronounce this. Just this collaboration. The packaging, holy shit, the packaging is so pretty, but all the products I feel like we've seen Urban Decay come out with. Like how many times have you seen this eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay? I think 500. Every single Vice palette, just look at those and then look at this palette, it's the same. Every single one. My friend Tris, hi if you're watching, if you're not, I see how it is. She posted a Snapchat of like all her Urban Decay palettes because she was like creating a look and they all looked the same. They were basically all the same and Urban Decay like, they do colors but they're always the same goddamn colors, you know? And I'm just over it. like come on come out with different stuff and the packaging is so pretty and I just I wish that they like ran with this packaging and like created something really really bomb and they didn't because I would be so down to like purchase this this would be the type of collection that I would purchase for like the packaging itself but I've been trying not to and then this palette come on that looks like every single naked palette let's just mix all the naked palettes together in one that's what it looks like uh, the only thing that's maybe a little different is their blush highlighter type cheek palette thing lipsticks aren't really that different they've come out with those before same with the eyeliners they come on honestly I feel like this is just nothing new from Urban Decay the only thing that's really new about it is the packaging which is so pretty congratulations to whoever this is I don't know who you are congratulations your artwork is really cool at least on the packaging I think that's your artwork but I don't know, man. I this whole collection, I feel like we've seen from Urban Decay a million times. Just come out with some new stuff, please. Like, then I would, like, consider purchasing. But I feel like this is the same thing over and over and over again. And I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, come out with new shit. You know? Next collection that I will not be purchasing is the Candy Johnson and Too Faced collection. I'm pretty sure Too Faced is canceled. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. I don't know. But this collection, again, is just the same goddamn shit all over again. Too Faced doesn't release anything new. They come out with the same stuff over and over again. Their stuff is constantly shitty, especially their eyeshadow palettes. I never know if a Too Faced product will be good or bad. I don't plan on purchasing it. This is nothing that we haven't seen before. How many times has Too Faced come out with, like, this eyeshadow palette or, like, these lip colors? Like, honestly, every single day of Too Faced's career. <laughs> Like, it happens all the time. Congratulations, Candy. Honestly, props to you for getting this opportunity. Not to mention, the Nikki Tutorials collab with Too Faced was an absolute shit show. So I'm just like, mm, is it going to be as bad? I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to stay away. The last product here is the... What are these? Is the Melt Highlighters. Here we go. They are coming out with three shades. Okay, this middle shade, hi, I want that one. Look at that. Look at that middle shade right there. Oh, who? Hi, what? I want it, but I'm not gonna buy it. I feel like, again, with the champagne colors, everyone has these colors. Come out with something different. Like, 
every brand like just coming up with goddamn champagne highlighters and I'm like over it like come up with something different not to mention these are $40 each $39 USD which is kind of ridiculous $100 for the bundle which is also ridiculous for three highlighters um and can we talk about like this for a second how much does this remind you of Kat Von D I swear every time I see this I think that this is Kat Von D and I'm not about it Every single time I look at it, I'm like, Kat Von D. And then I read it and I'm like, that's not Kat Von D. And I'm like, what is going on? And that kind of bothers me. But I just come out with new colors, guys. For highlighters, we don't only need champagne <laughs> highlighters. Honestly, we need some different colors. There's so many highlighters on the market. You're kind of late to the party if you're coming out with highlighters now. Especially when they're champagne highlighters. If you really want to sell them, come up with a different shade. Just my personal opinion, so I will not be purchasing those. That is it for this Auntie haul. Those are all the products that I'm not going to buy. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Also subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!